Good morning, everybody. It's nice to be back. I am so sorry I missed last week. Unfortunately, I was sick and I couldn't be at work, so, um, but I'm glad we're back this week. It's great to be back. Uh, let's get started with our hello song. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. So, this week's book is The Very Last Leaf. Um, why might we be reading about leaves this week? Well, about two weeks ago, I guess it is now, it became fall. So our season was summer and now we're in fall. And what happens during fall? Our leaves begin to change. So we're reading a story about a leaf. So this is The Very Last Leaf by Steph Wade. And it was illustrated or drawn and colored by Jennifer Davidson. I think I skipped a page. No, I didn't. Okay. From his first day of school in the spring, Lance Cottonwood was the best and brightest student. He blossomed and budding. Look at me, I'm a leaf. He breathed through wind resistance. Some others were not so lucky. Better luck next time. He was a breath of fresh air in Photosynthesis 101. Don't you just love the taste of sunlight in the morning? He passed pigment changement with flying colors. Yellow, everybody. How do you do? So, ooh, he changed to yellow. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because it's during his last class of the autumn semester, Lance began to worry about his final exam. The test would take him from the top of his sturdy tree to the grass down below. The other leaves couldn't wait to take the leap, but Lance Cottonwood didn't feel that way because Lance Cottonwood was afraid to fall. Lance was jealous of his neighbor, Doug Fur. Doug was an evergreen and evergreens didn't have to fall. Doug got to sit on his branch and feel the cold, wet snow on his face all winter long. But Lance was a cottonwood and cottonwood trees are deciduous. They lose their leaves in autumn. So Lance was expected to fall like all the Lance leaf cottonwood ancestors who came before him. When autumn arrived, one by one, other students let go and floated to the ground below. But Lance was comfortable at the top, and that's where he would stay. No one expected him to be scared, so Lance made up excuse after excuse, saving for the best for last. Ladies first. I have a bit of a cough today. But Lance couldn't trick them for long, as leaf after leaf Past the final test, they started to talk. I guess he's not good at everything. He's a scaredy leaf. He's too yellow to be an evergreen. They're not being very nice, are they? Cool days turned into colder nights, and Lance decided he was going to beat the odds. He would stay on his tree all winter, just like Doug. It looks like we're going to be best friends. There's Doug. By the end of the week, Lance was the only one left on the tree. Lance's teacher knew he was worried, but she also knew he would be okay. It's okay to be scared, Lance. I'm here to help you through this. Lance thought about why he was scared. He was terrified of landing in a gutter or getting stuck on a windshield. A worst of all, Falling where the dog did his business. Ew. After talking about his worries, Lance felt a little better. And when he looked down again, things didn't look so bad. 
Some kids had made a leaf pile to jump into. Other kids were collecting leaves for crafts. Lance's friends were happy. They were safe. And they looked like they were having fun. Lance knew it was time to take the leap. Lance's teacher assured him he could do it. He was one of the hardest working students in class. The other students cheered him on from down below. They were right. He could do it. He worked hard. He studied hard. He knew his stuff. Lance loved Doug, but Lance wasn't an evergreen and never would be. Lance looked below. He took a deep breath and with stem quivering, he let go. Practicing what he studied, Lance focused on and floated gently to the pile below. Lance Cottonwood may have been the last one to finish his test, but he did not fail. He was once again on top. You did it, Lance. The gang's all here. <laughs> and this is his progress report. It says that he came from a Lance Leaf Cottonwood tree, and he was 2.4 inches. Uh, and all of his grades for budding was an A, wind resistance A, falling B plus. He was one of the last. Teacher's note says, Lance is an extremely bright student, but he sometimes feels scared of what he doesn't know. After recognizing his fear of falling, Lance and I worked together by addressing what made him scared and discussed possible outcomes. By creating a plan and facing his fears, Lance passed his final exam with flying colors. That's a pretty good progress report. So this was the very last leaf. I hope you had a great time at Toddler Tales today. I'll see you tomorrow for story time or next week for another Toddler Tales. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, guys.